Hey guys, welcome to week 9 of the second season of our Pokemon Draft League. This is Coach Ian of the Mahogany Town Muse again for the third week in a row. Um, this week I'm battling, uh, what is it, Jake? Dr. Andrews? I can't keep up with the meta of your my Pokedemia, Jake Shinden, whatever is going on over there. But this week I do play the Picky Pex. Um, unfortunately, there was a problem saving the video this week, uh, so I did uh, reenact the game with uh, Mike of the whatever he is, Seaonwood City Machamps. Uh, I know there's probably a lot of background noise. I'm doing my laundry right now, and uh, you can deal with it. Uh, but it's a really short battle, so I was able to reenact it with Mike. And uh, let's just get into it right now. And uh, have a quick little commentary for you. So Jake starts out with his Soul Stealer here, the Celesteela, um, and I decide to lead with my Crocodile. Uh, I knew that was a decent matchup for me, uh, so I just go ahead and set up some Stealth Rocks here. Um, this is one of the matchups I was a little bit hoping for, so it was not really a big deal. And he does go for a Protect, so I'm going to be able to get these Stealth Rocks for free. Um, most of my team here was just dedicated to taking on a few of the checks he had to Manaphy, as I was hoping to get uh, Manaphy some good KOs this week. Uh, so Crocodile's here, and he switches out into uh, Double AJ, my Zapdos, as Jake Stelesteela goes for the Leech Seed and hits it, which kind of sucks, but... I don't really care, I'm here to take it out with a discharge or something. So um, he gets some HP back and goes for Protect, as that's the uh, optimal thing to go for here, as I knew he's going to go for it, it's usually the best play, so I go for a Tailwind. Um, I knew Manaphy outsped everything on his team that he brought this week, uh, and I was really just scared of any Choice Scarfers, so setting up the Tailwind ensured that I'd be faster than any Choice Scarfs he could possibly bring. And uh, knowing the Celesteela can't really do anything, especially minus one, I just go straight into Manaphy here. Uh, a little squishy, as he actually goes for a Flamethrower, which is perfect, because that does, like, no damage to me. Um, so, he goes for a Protect, I assume, to scout out what I'm going to do, uh, but that actually turns out to be a uh, really bad idea, <laughs> as I go for the uh, Tail Glow here and raise my Special Attack three stages. Uh, at this point, he does switch out the Celesteela into Tyranitar, Tyran so far. Um, I assume to set up some sand for the chip damage and possibly to try and take a special attack uh, with his increased special defense. But being at plus three, even with the sand, it's not going to matter very much. And uh, I'm not able to take out the Tyranitar with a uh, single surf after the uh, Stealth Rocks damage. Uh, so I'm hit by a sandstorm. I brought a berry this week to reduce some damage so I don't have leftovers and I don't have a Z-Crystal, <clears throat> so I'm just going to be taking that damage the whole time. Uh, he switches into his uh, Breloom here and uh, probably tries to go for a, a Spore or something, but I do outspeed and go for the Ice Beam, easily taking this thing out. Um, maybe with Mach Punch it would have mattered. I get kind of low towards the end. Technician Mach Punch might have been enough, but at this point in the game it makes sense that... Uh, it wouldn't be the first choice, maybe. So he brings back in the Celesteela, um, probably to not take any damage from the uh, Sandstorm. And he does survive a plus three Surf, which is pretty impressive, and goes for a Leech Seed, uh, connecting on that. So I'm going to be taking stealth or, uh, Sandstorm and Leech Seed damage the entire match here now, as uh, he does get one tick off of it. And that brings me down to about half, and brings him back up to about... Uh, maybe a quarter. So he goes pr for the Protect, obviously, and uh, that's going to net him another turn of free Sandstorm damage and uh, Leech Seed Drain. And I'm pretty sure he's going to do that. I don't really have anything else to do, so I'm just going to go for it. another Tail Glow here. Uh, get myself up to plus six Special Attack. Not that it matters, but I don't have anything else to do on that turn anyway. So uh, he gets some HP back. Uh, take some damage. He goes for a second protect here, and uh, that's just super obnoxious, and I go for the surf, uh, just hoping he wouldn't get the second one off. But he does, and um, he's just going to heal it more to about half. 
the plus three was able to do a max of like 80% to sell Steela, so plus six is easily going to take it out, even if he got all the way back up to 100. Uh, so here I just go for another Surf again, and it connects and is able to take him out. Uh, the rest of what he brings in is all one-hit KO'd by Manaphy as he's outspeeding them all. Uh, so I'll just tell you about things that I planned for this week. Um, I was really scared of the Sceptile. It's able to outspeed and one-hit KO Manaphy uh, with a Leaf Storm. So I did bring the something berry, Rindo berry maybe, to uh, cut grass type attacks in half. Uh, that let me survive a Leaf Storm and then at the minus two that would bring him, I could survive a second Leaf Storm actually. So even if I had to, I could switch Manaphy into a Leaf Storm and still set up. Um, I was also kind of scared of the Rabambi. It can outspeed and it can sticky webs to bring my speed down. Um, other than that, Manaphy could take out pretty much everything on Jake's team, and it's just unfortunate that he had such a bad matchup against Manaphy specifically. So uh, most of my team was just designed to pivot into Manaphy, take a hit that Manaphy can't take, or set up a uh, speed boost for Manaphy. And that was pretty much my entire team this week, and uh, I ended up taking down Jake. It was still a fun battle, uh, even though I'm sure he doesn't have a lot of time, having uh, <laughs> been like in the hospital and in rehab lately, or like physical therapy lately and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun battle. I like battling Jake. He's a fun guy, fun player to uh, play against, and I'm always surprised by the kind of stuff he brings. Uh, so next week I battle the Volcaronas. Uh, I believe it's Greg, the Volcaronas, next week. And a week after that, I believe I battle Nick and then Jacob. So I've got some good battles coming up for you. And uh, that's all it's going to be for this very quick week recap. And I will see you in my next commentary.